Dennis's vision was totally different and I think much better. He had seen a style of basketball that was played literally in the schoolyards of Harlem and in Compton, California, that was a fast-paced trick uh, rebounding. And he said, you know, this is what basketball can be if we put it on to the major venues or the major arenas in the country. It was a concept that the people in traditional basketball just wasn't ready to accept. Guys like Julia Serving, Dan Issel, Artis Gilmore, George Gervin, Maurice Lucas, all those young talented kids that got their start in the ABA got to develop at an unbelievably high level. So those young players kind of grew up playing in this style of game in which was relatively not, a, not highly followed press-wise, and so they could develop a lot of their game, and they started moving forward with this now modern, kind of modern age. Since young college basketball players and everyone else under 21 years of age were strictly off limits to the NBA at that time, the ABA saw an almost unbelievable opening. Let me explain the four-year college rule. There was a set rule that says, once your high school class had graduated from high school, you had to then wait for four years, and then you could go into the NBA. No qualms, no exceptions, no nothing. Perhaps the ABA's most successful and controversial move was to sign teenagers and underclassmen to play in their league. The ABA, one season, made the business decision to begin to sign underclassmen. And the first player that the league signed as an underclassman was Spencer Haywood. I played that year for the University of Detroit. I averaged uh, 33 points per game and 23 rebounds a game. We investigated the uh, legalities and reached and uh, made the determination that we could sign a uh, underclassman and, and in fact did. When they approached me and I said, yeah, and plus the fact that my mother was still picking cotton in Silver City, Mississippi for $3 a day. So here's my chance to get her off her knees and save my family. And that, of course, opened the floodgates for underclassmen to enter into the world of professional sports. Uh, young players that came out that went right to the ABA after they were in maybe a first year or second year of college, and they were getting the hardship cases or the early outs at, at a time in which the NBA was licking their chops and hoping that they were going to find these players, and they didn't. If I hadn't broke that four-year rule thus in the ABA, the NBA had no thoughts of ever changing their rule. So you wouldn't have had LeBron, Kobe, Kevin Durant, you wouldn't have any of those players. That Spencer Haywood do and the ABA did a great thing for the game of basketball. Underclassmen and teenagers now coming into the NBA can thank one person for removing barriers to joining pro basketball. For example, when a college player leaves school early and goes to the NBA, he should send Dennis some money because the format in college sports and the legal system that now allows players to leave school early was an outgrowth of the ABA, and the ABA, of course, was an outgrowth of Dennis Murphy.